So, mutations. We've learnt already that they're changes that occur in the genetic material or the DNA. Here we have a section of base sequence from some DNA. Our A's, T's, C's and G's, those nitrogen bases. So a mutation is when a change occurs in this base sequence. So for example, if we have this G that is changed to a T, or if this T is changed to an A, we call that a mutation. Right here we have what the result would be from that change. So we know that those changes happen and we know that they're called mutations. This video is answering the question, what causes mutations? Well, let's have a look. So first things first, mutations can be spontaneous or induced. Spontaneous mutations are mutations that just happen. Normally, they just happen during DNA replication. It's not always a process that occurs perfectly. Sometimes during DNA replication, mistakes are made and they are spontaneous mutations. Other types of mutations are induced. By induced, we mean they are caused by certain factors. And that's the main thing I'm gonna focus on in this video are the factors that cause mutations. There's three of them, let's have a look. The first example of a factor that can cause mutation or increase the rate of mutation is high energy radiation. Examples of high energy radiation are things like ultraviolet radiation from the sun or X-ray radiation. They're two examples of types of radiation that can increase the rate of mutations in DNA. The second factor that can increase the rate of mutation is mutagenic chemicals. Right now, a famous example of a mutagenic chemical is this one here, one of my favorites, the ooze that created these guys here, the Ninja Turtles, my favorite. Uh, a fictional mutagenic chemical, okay? The ooze was something made up in a movie. But there are mutagenic chemicals. There are chemicals that can cause mutations in DNA. A real world example of a mutagenic chemical is cigarette smoke. Cigarette smoke is capable of increasing and does increase the rate of mutations in DNA, which makes it very dangerous. In fact, the mutations caused by cigarette smoke can cause cells to become cancerous. And chemicals that can cause cells to become cancerous are called carcinogens or carcinogenic chemicals. So mutagenic chemicals are capable of increasing mutation rate and they are the second factor. The third and final factor that can increase the rate of mutation is high temperature. It needs to be very high temperature, but high temperature is capable of causing mutations in DNA and that rounds out our three factors. So to summarize again, the three factors that can induce mutations or increase the mutation rate are radiation, high energy radiation, mutagenic chemicals, and higher temperature. So there you have it, they are what cause mutations. Don't forget, these are the induced causes. There's also spontaneous mutations, which are inevitable and unavoidable, and they just happen often during DNA replication. And as you would have heard from our video on how DNA has diversified, mutations are usually bad or deleterious, causing a negative impact for cells. But sometimes mutations can actually lead to an advantage. And that is the key to evolution coupled with time, as you would have seen in the previous video. So as always, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time. In all of my videos, I use information and material from the Biology Levels of Life textbook, workbook and teaching notes. 
If you want any information on how to get hold of these, just leave a comment below or email me on jeremy.s.lacornu at gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe if you want regular updates on my new videos. And as always, thanks so much for your support and positive feedback. I'm really glad that my videos are helping you.